Russians are very conservative in art, yeah? Since we didn't have this uh, glorious period of uh, development of avant-garde art, they used to more traditional art forms such as painting, sculpture. So they sometimes they just don't read our stuff as art. I was one of the first artists who started working on the internet in the 90s. And I've in got, the world? In the world, yeah. And I've got some international recognition. So if you check Google with my name, you will see a lot of references to my early uh, internet, project, internet art projects. And uh, at some point I stopped. And the reason was that uh, in the web 2.0, with a lot of users uh, on the internet, a lot of people and social networks, there is no need for special internet art anymore because everybody's a lot of people who produce something concept pictures uh, scripts uh, music and uh, what we see is just the, like a global huge um, art pool. project yeah in a way wow and uh, whatever statement you make in it it gets immediately it immediately disappears in the flow of that uh, information and now a new age is coming like uh, more or less um, kind of mm, barbarism, you know, our no-brain uh, uh, stuff is coming. And uh, yeah, so we try to uh, connect that to the uh, high level, or oh, relatively high level electronic uh, stuff and see what happens because actually you, you get an MP3 player, which is a sophisticated piece of uh, electro electronics, yeah? And what you listen on it, you listen really stupid stuff, <laughs> yes. normally, yeah? So it's yeah. just an interesting combination yeah. of barbarism and high yeah. technology these days. Yeah. So we follow this path in our art as well. So we like the, the idea of playing around with, uh, with this idea of a company that produces art because, um, yeah, it's something we feel kind of new and interesting. And that's why we consciously do this market-friendly art and position it as uh, yeah, objects of art, but also a kind of um, electronic products. Because if you look at our works, they consist of exactly the same materials as uh, uh, like consumer electronic uh, mm -hmm. uh, does. Plastic, uh, paint, uh, electronics, LCD screens, uh, audio speakers. processors, speakers, nothing else, you know? So, yeah, we're kind of excited about this idea that our art is very similar to consumer goods. So this is where it all happens? Yeah, no, not all, not all, the final part, because as a proper company, we work with other uh, people, with other companies, where mm -hmm. we order uh, production uh, and development of electronics, of uh, plastic, works with plastic, it works with wood, with everything, we, all materials we work with. There are so many wonderful things around us and we just uh, use them, I mean, very utilitarian. And with software, software always uh, tells you what to do with it. And if, if you think a bit, you can use it differently. And in a way, this piece is about that. And these um, abstract uh, minimalistic animations that you, can, that you see yeah. are just um, uh, transitions that are used in uh, video editing uh, software. What's new here <laughs> is that it's now presented in the form of an object that you put on the wall. It's not a video anymore, it's not separated from the medium, it's not a DVD or videotape that you need, uh, where you need a player. It's all in one and uh, it's uh, very easy to Operate, you just uh, put it on the wall, uh, switch it on, and it starts running. One of our purposes is just to um, show people what, that uh, technology is not something pre um, predetermined. It, it is, uh, that uh, you can do different things with it. You're not supposed to just to blindly follow the instructions uh, of it, yeah? And uh, that uh, gives you some additional level of freedom. It's been discussed recently that most creative people, they escape art these days, they go to design, they go to advertisement industry. If you watch, for example, some advertisements or uh, music videos, sometimes much more interesting than any video art you see uh, on the art shows, because money has become uh, like the the ultimate value mm -hmm. for everything. Instead of uh, saying, oh no, we don't like this world, we hate it. We try to be positive, right? try to act positively in this world. Curated stuff, uh, critical stuff, 
has now lost uh, its point in a way. It's it's criticizing things, but uh, things doesn't change. Uh, uh, the world doesn't become any better. And uh, another problem I see with uh, critical art that it lacks uh, visuality. It lacks it lacks direct uh, connection to the audience, to the mm -hmm. people. And so this is where you make your plans, test your equipment. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you create like um, like for this, for instance, you'll create the prototype or something, or the. We create the what is it? The the design. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then we give this design to the plastic factory, and they produce this stuff, and we do the final final touch, final polishing, final. Um, What's this going to be? Can, uh, let me guess. Glasses. Of course. I think you can put your own MP3 files in it. Oh, fantastic. And play it out so you can use it as a stereo system, MP3 player, but also it visualizes its rigs to the sound. And uh, yeah, very playful and very brainless, so to say. No brain. We call it no brain art. This kind of art. All right, so this piece over here is a quite simple piece um, it's you see it uh, reflects uh, um, a viewer so an audience becomes part of the piece and here are a few different uh, buttons you can press and uh, they're responsible for different uh, visual effects like time-based uh, video video effects and oh, cool. uh, yeah, it just, um, there is nothing new. We haven't invented anything new because it, these are just algorithms. We just put it all together with a, in a computer independent system. So uh, there is no any computer inside, it's just a small uh, processor board. This is, makes you want to dance, this machine. Yeah, yeah. It should yeah. be called the dance o 5000. Could be, could be, but we call it timeline. Yes. People could. For example, put on the on the walls in some private or public space at home or in a supermarket. I don't know in a, in an office and just enjoy it. Uh, in a new way, it's 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 in a way it uh, uh, uses a paradigm of a picture on the wall, but it's not a static picture. It's dynamic and uh, interactive, and people enjoy always enjoy seeing themselves as part of the piece. I do. Yeah, I everybody always do. does, sure. I think of um, the world as just a mirror reflecting me all the um. time. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs>